Hi, this is Mary McCready with the Urban Conservation Unit. We just got done doing an irrigation assessment at a home here in Miami-Dade County. Um, and what we saw was actually typical of most irrigation systems we see. Actually about 79% of the homes we see have indexing valves. Um, so we want to tell you a little bit about indexing valves and how systems can be improved that have these systems. Um, this is an indexing valve and basically it works off of pressure. So the irrigation system turns on, the water runs through here and down into one of the pipes which goes to a zone. This is a K-Rain hydro indexing valve. Basically how it works is water comes from the pump or a city water source in through this pipe and hits this disc and pushes it down and then it overlaps over top of the discharge pipe and it allows the water to come out of that, for that zone. When the pump or the city water is turned off, it springs up and there's a cam inside the top that it rides on. Yeah. When the water pushes down, see? It oh, it twists it automatically. Yeah, yeah it turns and then the, it, it, it pops down. back up and it, it rides up yeah. and down on that yeah. cam. So that when the next time it comes on, it spins to the next zone like this and pushes back down for that zone. Basically the, the biggest disadvantage is when the service guy comes and he turns it on, he might leave it flip-flop so now that your front yard waters first and the backyard, so that's that's the big disadvantage. Not only that, it's, it's not as accurate as a regular zone valve. You know, you can't time it as, as accurately. And they do leak water. When this part goes bad or a little piece of debris gets in here and it'll hang up and it'll stick and then you only have one zone watering and then the rest of your yard turns brown. Whereas if you had individual valves, you wouldn't have that issue. For homeowners that have these, would you recommend cleaning them out regularly? No, because it's only when they stick. But when they stick, how would you clean it out? Just cleaning the debris? Well, yeah, you would disassemble the indexing valve depending on which one you have and clean out whatever debris. A lot of times what happens is, see how they have this cap? This cap is, this is a three zone. It's a four zone system, but it has a three zone cam. So you just cap off the off zone. The problem is a lot of homeowners, they don't do that. They leave that open so that then you'll get, you'll get water spillage out of the valve every time you switch zones. But that helps in keeping this from not sticking. Mm. The problem with that is lizards like to crawl up this pipe. And mm. then they get mashed in there and then now you have it the device sticking and not switching zones. What can be done about this? You can remove this indexing valve and replace it with two electrical valves which would go here and here um, or underground preferably. Um, so it would be a retrofit of the system. The advantages of an electric valve system over an indexing valve system is that you can program each zone independently. So if you want to irrigate zone one longer than zone two, you have the ability to do that. Whereas with an indexing valve system, you don't have that opportunity because you never know which zone is going to turn on.